I said this season come out with a bang. Coach Minzi, best round here. Remember that. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in. Yeah man, big up yourself people. Hope everybody's doing well and everybody's doing alright. It's another weekend. It's another weekend. Super treat! What's up my people? Yeah man. Friday night live. You understand? Big up to all my viewers. Big up to all my subscribers. Big up on yourself. Dr. Dan in the building. Big up yourself, Dr. Dan. Let's say you're the first. You understand? And Please remember people, give the video a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah. Pick up yourself. We have some breaking news to drop. Mm-hmm. Yeah man. So like this like the video, share the content, subscribe to the channel if you're new, so that you can become a part of the coach's desk family. You know what I mean? So people. We are closer to the game, eh? Sunday afternoon game. Or Sunday evening. Yeah, man. Sunday evening. The game is going to be on. And the reggae boys will be going up against Mexico. Yeah, we'll be going up against the Mexicans. Tough, tough team. And the people. Grenada versus USA. Big, big CONCACAF Nations League game. And guess what? A Jamaican referee is in the middle of the park. Big up to the Patch, man. Patchy, big up yourself, you know. And we know that he's doing an excellent job in the game so far. Big up the Patch, man. You don't know. Go on, do your thing. Yeah, man. It's a, big, it's a good look. It's a good look. United States is currently leading. One goal to nil over Grenada. Spice Island. Mm -hmm. Pulisic and ball. Yeah, man. A nice good team. US um, set up. And yeah, man. They are going up against the Spice Island in Grenada. Yeah, man. Jamie Ricketts. Am I am I youth, man? Big up a Fastodian, you know? Fastodian in the building. You don't know. Fastodian is doing an excellent job. You understand? Yeah, man. And Ocean Nation is also in the Nations League too. So, our FIFA referee, I go on a bag of things. And guess what? These two persons are fast told that what happened to know. Big up on yourself. Big up, big up, big up. Much respect to these two referees. You understand? Keep the excellence of learning in your mind and let the light of gc foster ever shine big up they don't know i'll lose me can sing all that <laughs> some people reggae boys off to mexico yeah man the reggae boys are off to mexico and guess what people one one ball i make the trip one ball I get him passport. John Russell in the team. Yeah, man. It was a touch and go situation for John Russell. From what I've understand. But sources close to the coach's desk indicate that John Russell. John Russell. John Russell has gotten his Jamaican passport. So... With John Russell getting his passport. Big things. We expect big things. We expect him to play in that game. You understand? <laughs> hey, hey, you see you actually. USA 2 0 now. Jaja. Yeah, man, I watch it, people. Me can't to show it on screen, you know, because them, them bots are always out, you know. And when the bots are out, your channel will go out, too. <laughs> yeah, man. US basically a toy with, 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 with the Grenadians right now. 
19 minutes into the encounter already um 2-0 mm, interesting what happened to Brendan Aronson yeah man the US the US have enough field there that's one more three goals to nil goal into the back of the net or is that or is that two nil A 2 nil. that would be a C doubles. How the, the score change before? Yeah, man, that's a good goal, you know. Aronson. Good goal, man. In the 20th minute. You know, the score change, man, the thing before me see. Before me see the second goal, like two minutes apart. <laughs> I wonder how I go on, you know. I wonder what oh God. And that we are so fresh. Guess what? You see what the score there, it changed. When you know say two nil, me see the the two nil. You understand? And then me see the goal score. So me I said no a three nil. But when me take a sack at the second goal that <laughs> No man is a live feed, may I watch pan one? Oh, it's not a channel I'm watching it on, you know. One of them live stream, um, thing that I watch it on. Because I don't know they're on my, t my television. I mean, I still there, I understand. Alright, so. Yeah, man, the reggae boys seem to be in a jubilant mode. And they're off to... To... To Mexico. Um, putting the final preparations in. And they're off to Mexico for their game. Yeah, say, yeah, man, the Grenada feel look good, man. Clean and nice. Not, 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 uh, Rob Smith, isn't that the field there? The, um, the reggae girls played on. Big up yourself, HSM. Big up yourself. Oh, can't cock up, but me, me, I watch it, me, I watch it, man. Big up to Rob Smith, Oi in at Chile. Big up on yourself. Dr. Dan, Jamie Ricketts, Fresh God, Capo in the building. Yeah, man, big up everybody. One actually, you must say, talk about low, the sick, I'm um, singing. Talk, you big up yourself. Yeah, man, the reggae boys. Reggae boys. Um. Hey, you know what the boys did? What the boys did today, you know? Are in the week with the with the youngsters. I think I think it was a, a very good um gesture from the reggae boys. Where they where they um went well they brought in some schools so that they could, you know, link up with the Brought in the the, 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 the the youngsters to 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 meet the coach and meet some of the footballers and shake their hands and all of these things. I think it was a very listen. 
These people, me put it on my Instagram, you know, and if you have not followed my Instagram, please go and check out my Instagram. Because I placed it there, and these are some of the things that we have been talking about for quite some time. You understand? That's a penalty? No. Yeah, man. So, it, 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 it is a good look. I think it's a very good initiative that we, the vloggers, content creators, would have been speaking about for years now. And to see it come to fruition, big up. We appreciate that. Our, our words have not gone in vain. So when people, sometimes we come on these, these podcasts or these um, streams and it's sometimes difficult to be sitting for two hours, sometimes three, to having these conversations about the reggae boys. Yeah? But to see it actually paying dividends, it is a good look. Um, many of the things that we spoke about are the things that the... Governing body in Jamaica, the JFF, they are actually implementing. You understand? And it's a good look for us. Um, it 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 is. It shows. It shows that we are doing something. It shows that our voice. Is actually reaching somewhere. You know, sometimes we might we might feel discouraged, but we have to just keep on keeping on. You understand? Yeah, man. Well, <laughs> well, Rob Smith, even if it's a coach, something happened. And basically, our talk has not gone on the fears, so to speak. I think the coach was a lot has a lot to do with certain progressive moves. Well <laughs> as Mr. Still you know, and I'll say it again Coach's desk will be supporting the coach. Coach's desk will be supporting the players. Coach's desk support to the Federation. It can't be confirmed at this moment. Yeah, man, it can't be confirmed. You understand? Yeah, yeah, Rob Smith. Uh, that that's fair go on. Yeah, fair engage the fans. The fans play a critical role, you know. And what this big up yourself, Richard Samuels. What this has shown is that. This coach has an understanding of how these things happen. You understand? And in basically I make it go on it. You understand? In basically As a professional, in basically I do what he need to do. You understand? So we, we, we appreciate the work that is being done. Um so 
throughout the week, throughout the training week and the days, based on the footage that we have been seeing. Alright, me see the three nil change, you know. The goal not square it. The police hit the free kick on the edge of the box. Almost square. That that is true. That is true, South Cry. I mean the coach knows how close these people are to the fans, you know, in terms of the fan base. And we have dialogue with the fan base and based on, 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 on the talks. I mean the coach might not watch every vlog or every video, every stream, but essentially he knows that these things are very important. So even basically say hey work with the thing you know you understand so these things are very important when 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 you have a small kid can say hey wow that's a beautiful goal you know me just see the goal i'm telling you about two minutes after my my goal of a show and 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 that 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 is a good look You understand? Three one now. Me see, me see the <laughs> my goal just a replay, brother. And then Grenada, me see three one. So Grenada score. <laughs> yeah, man, it delay, man, it delay. <laughs> but based on the footage that we have been seeing. Based on the footage that we have been seeing, it 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 begs me to say that these the players seem to be in 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 a in a good mood, right? Nice vibe. You understand? Good goal by the Grenadians. Very good goal. Very good goal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to play... I'm going to be playing <coughs> this bit of audio for you to hear what the coach has to say in terms of the game coming up. 4-1 now, Jaja. <laughs> Game get hot. So listen to what Coach Algrim has to say. And I don't expect too much and just a few players. And John Wall. In the next game. So he's, he's got Are you hearing clearly? The fact that I think Surinam played pretty well. Uh, first 55 to 60 minutes. And it goes to show that they're in the early stages too. What can what did you see though? That, that, that we probably could um, thumbs up if I hear clearly. First half, because you mentioned that uh, Surinam were they were good in the first half. Uh, therefore, Mexico probably was was not as good in the first half. All right, half. all right. A little uh, low. It's, you have to take it into account that he's only got like three days, and it's turf, and Suriname's got a new coach too. I think all in all, there's a few instances, yes, that we might have want to use, uh, but it's nothing that I'm going to be public about. All right. Now, of course, they have a new coach. That's uh, Mexico have a new coach. Um, when you have a new coach, of course, the coach would have been in Suriname, not with the team that's going to play on Sunday in Mexico.
practice. Yeah, we, we will see a, a diff, diff, different a, approach to that game. Uh, the, the ones against Trinidad was more to, sh to see the players, you know, their abilities, how they how they work within. Today? Yes. Una year now? No, we thought Una we, year now? Uh, a little bit more time on. Because we don't want to do anything tactical once we are in Mexico. Probably there will be the eyes on us there, so so we like we like to finish all the the tactical things, and we've had quite a good time here. So uh, enough time, I mean, in in uh, in Mobe. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how, how we've done things. And and you have a better idea of how the team will play once we get into match time competition. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a better I, idea. I, I know, yes. You know, you know. And uh, can fans, for example, expect a different start from what we saw last two games against Trinidad, which I thought personally was a glorified practice? Yeah, we will see a, a diff, diff, different approach to that game. Uh, the, the ones against Trinidad was more to, sh to see the players. You know their abilities, how they how they work within in the in our system, in our working environment. So this time we we would like to be more tactical. We would like to be more clinical. We would like to. Oh, we have been practicing for Mexico, so that is a totally different thing. For this, uh, so this camp has been Mexico and the club, so we are preparing but most of all for Mexico, so hopefully we will be, you will see a much, much more structured team because when we played Trinidad, it was not about Trinidad, it was about us, you know, and, and who can who can be with us in the future and seeing a lot of young players, are they ready now or they are, are they ready in a year, so yeah, we had a lot of questions for the individuals in Trinidad, now it's about the collective, collective unit. How optimistic are you about our chances of playing them well in Antigua? <laughs> I mean, I suppose <laughs> chance. We have a plan. We have a plan how we think we can we can hurt them. If that plan works or not, we will just have to see. But we we go with a plan in mind how, how we want to play them. Hopefully, we can we can have a good performance. And if we do, then the side effect will be one point or three points so hopefully we, we, we have an idea and we are all going in the same direction so hopefully we will have a good performance against Mexico any injuries concern body healthy uh, everyone here is, is is fine and fit and ready and want to play so we have we have 23 players really eager to play against Mexico and I we, we love that and the good thing about this camp is that we didn't play a friendly in between, so there was night. No, we, we don't need to rest anyone today. So we are just preparing for the max, and we we are we have given players time to recover from the matches before the game. So we are in a good position, fitness-wise, hopefully tactical-wise. All right, coach. Uh, Mexico played last night. They won two love against uh, Suena. What did you pick up from that, and how can we hurt them? You think? I, I think we cannot take a lot from that match. They will, they will probably play a totally different team against us. Uh, so they rested a lot of their key players, which we expect to be playing against us. Um, and tactically, it was nothing that we could. It was not much that we could take out from that match to use for what we have already talked about. Are you satisfied with the preparations overall? With what has been given to you by the federation to ensure that you? this result coming up on Sunday yeah I think we knew beforehand because we were here in Mobe before the Trinidad uh, matches so we knew what to expect in this so we tried to do our best with what we have and and of course we we, we are satisfied always with once we are here we are not going to talk about the negatives because the negative will just attract more negative so we focus on the positives and and if something is not working out, then we just have to have to deal with that and, and, uh, and work around that. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Ha 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 ha
that is the end of the interview. <laughs> uh, let me not make a, 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 a mockery of the man that is challenged. He's disfluent. You understand? So I don't want to, you know, laugh too much or... He's just disfluent. You understand? <laughs> But uh, 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 oh, sorry, me just say me now and do it, and I still do it. You see, me don't you say it, you know, because look, them, they have mocked the man, and it almost a, a command to me. <laughs> uh, interview so like the recording a jet engine. Remember, you know, people. <laughs> You wonder, and, and it's not the first time hearing that question being asked in a, in a Rob Smith. Really and truly. It's not the first time I'm hearing that question being asked. Probably could have asked if, if, if everything is, is, is well with players in terms of does anyone have any niggles, any injury concerns. Those are stuff that we'd want to find out going into the game so that the best available players are available for the game. Questions like those could have been asked. You understand? You understand? But, I mean, I guess they did not get a lot of time. I probably er limited himself in asking the questions. <laughs> Big up Earl Bailey's here, you know. Why is going at the game? Stop watching it though. I stop watch the game, Virgin. But 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 Rob Smith, that make a whole lot of sense, brother. A whole lot of sense. Honestly, that that might be that might be a ticklish question coming from the JFF press officer, right? Yeah, man. If I only had one arm, I would enter a boxing ring. So a man with stomach should not. <laughs> Should not enter a press conference. Eh? <laughs> uh, how do you get a press pass? Alright, in order to get a press pass, you know, you have to be aligned to one of the YouTube channel. And the request would have to be sent by any one of the YouTube channels that you're affiliated with. You understand? So, for example, suppose a game happened in Mexico and they want a press pass. The press pass probably would have to go through the federation. But you, you as, as someone who, who is without an entity, you couldn't go ahead and, and, and request one. You understand? So, uh, Rob since have asked Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so, in terms of a press pass, suppose we 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 Duclan is is Duclan is as tenant, you know, and and I am sure sports boss cannot be at a press conference, not not a press conference at a game, but he requested. A uh, press pass for Duclan's tenet. You understand? As I am sure sports. Duclan would be able to pick up his press pass. And go to the game. And do whatever he has to do. As an official member of the press. So that, that things like that can happen. You understand? <laughs> oh, Dr. Dan, say I'm going to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> Alright, hope you reach 5,000, 10,000 subscribers quick because there might be some clamp down on the amount of subscribers you have in order to go to a press conference or games and these things, you know? So, I don't know. Half time on a 4 1. Yo, Katara, big up yourself. Welcome. People, the phone line is also open in there. You can, you can call in, let your voice be heard. Talk to us about the game. Um, the reggae boys having a good vibes, but is that enough? Is that enough to take care of Mexico? As the coach said, 
he doesn't believe that Mexico will play back that same team. So Mexico might have played a little bit possum or they hid some of their players because they they, 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 they might have a different plan or it's, it seems as if they have a different plan for the reggae boys. So the coach said that he doesn't look into that game enough or much. He looked into it, but it might not be in so much detail because Mexico would have rested players. What are your thoughts? You understand? Yeah. Evening coach. Big of yourself, Qatar. Evening to the viewers and subscribers. Back on a double treat. Nowadays, another triple treat. You know? Chuck's Boss time. man, a triple treat is show name. Treat. Don't go and change the name, I'm sure. Yeah. We yeah, can yeah, yeah, triple yeah, yeah. treat. Yeah, there are extenu extenuating circumstances where we might not be able to have a show on some particular night and the people do understand Katarak. why you have to come bring up that Chucks hey remember say Kia, me, hold on Kiara this short in a better you, th <laughs> you think you're immune from Kiara don't, don't push it like Richard you know <laughs> 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 they're not they're not run tracks man run so that they must have run things <laughs> What happened to that athlete that didn't make that statement there, coach? Which statement? That tracks man run things. That, I would, that I would it say that again. That athlete from Calabar who, who was in discipline <laughs> and, and was, and, and uh, I, th I think he attacked the uh, assistant coach. So um, no comment on that, Gata. No okay. Because um, they are, they are, they are, they are, there were various people involved. I, I can't tell exactly who you're referring to. So, until okay. get, you bring a name, I can probably give a little insight on... I may have shots, man. I just, I really just hear it in my news. But anyway, coach, mm -hmm. think of yourself. Um, team lift off. You know, um, liquid jet. Mm-hmm. Because I see, see Ethan Pinocca Ben, he made, he made a touch. Yeah, head, man. <laughs> The man had a touch the ceiling of the plane. The man had to bend. The man had to bend. Chan was there. When you come in the name again, Demario Phillips, I hit the seat. I walk in and he had a rub against the seat. No, Katar, you know you're wicked, though. Demario Phillips never had a half skin. Go back and look again. Go back and look again. Demario Phillips had a rub against the top, brother. Hey, people, no don't follow Katar. I'm going to see if I find that clip there, Regin, because... <laughs> oh, I for, oh, I for the plane out the of the plane of the plane the plane of 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 the plane man. the plane of 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 I eat and fill up and mops, Monsieur. See, there it is, people. Hold on, Monsieur, we can get a better screen. I will go on this. Ah, see it there now. See the the Rupert that been, Raphael that been, look a bit. This is guy. This is guy. Who I keep her. So, Demario Phillips the dead man, I sit in there this man, I let me kiss the this man. Oh, and he now nah, bend too much. Hey, Katar, me tell us that you. DJ have a foul there. Oh, DJ can't bend. Bobby Reed a bend. Chivante a bend. Like, I'm going to bend up his life, watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's not a commercial flight because it would have taken um, a lot of time. Cool, um, you know, with, 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 um, where can I take it now? When you change over planes, and it would have really been, 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 a, been an arduous journey. So, respect still for them get a, a charter flight. Um, mm. touchdown, hopefully, it's into Mexico City and not like another city like when we played the last time. The, the good vibes, I don't put nothing about good vibes, coach. Vibes now in this thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Katak, you know, say, you know why I talk about this? Because in recent past, there are times when we have stream and I say, yo, look like a good vibes are going in a camp. We like it and them something there. 
But at the end of the day, if you notice, me finish the statement, is that enough? Because that, that, that now nah, I win football game, you know. So we want to see them go out there and put in a decent, a gutsy, a, a, a creative performance. Because this Mexico team, boy, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I think it will go easy, you know. Yeah, but it's not going to be easy, coach. Mm. <laughs> Mexico is a ruthless team, you know. And them catching nappy, you know. You yeah, get, yeah, get where Grenada get right now. Mm -hmm. Everybody has tried to put seven for that team since, since, since my new get seven. Everybody has tried to give seven. So if you go to your side around, put yourself. Um, so we have to bring our A game. Mm -hmm. All all eleven players who are on the field at the given time have to bring their A game. They cannot afford to get a card, a red card. So we hope that the players um, keep hold their cool and their composure. And we have to be able to withstand early Mexican pressure. But they will come flying out of the out of the blocks, you know, like like um Shelly had. So we we have to we, we, we normally lift up like Sharika, slow out of the blocks and then get in our running around the fiftieth minute. But it doesn't go work this time. Mm. But so we know now the result we have to get nothing but a win can help us. So let's go for it. Let's go for it, coach. Mm. I understand. There's nothing to lose. There's nothing to lose. It's rather we lose the game three long. Win the game one love, going for one love win and lose three love rather than get a nil or a draw. Mm -hmm. In my in my estimation. Yeah, yeah. So so. And in so, I understand the animal things. No, too. ignore that, no brother. Ignore that. No, no we don't. We don't. We don't know what. Everybody great old schools. We don't. We don't understand the visit, but. But kind of likes it. No, man. Why, why you not understand about that, Katarak? Because, guess what? Remember, say, it's an historical site in Jamaica, you know? And especially if I have some of the um, overseas born international, they probably don't know about it and it's a good look to bring them there. Okay. 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 So. But but me not like the goose talk, you know, cause I'm foolish in starting you know, all them a man they do a take with man money, you know. And then then we on the politician them, you know. So me not depend on that. But them but they scam I go to them. Say if I scam, I scam, I scam, I thief level up is thief with long bag, you know. Mm. Oh, so I go. so yeah, scamming, scammer, scammer, scam, scammer. Scammer. So coach, I, I think it's a good look that the the the, the coach Brim has chosen to take the people out into the community. Um, and also invite the community uh, you know, the into this training into this training and stuff. It's a very good look. I want to commend it. Me, me, and, me love uh, it, Ketara. More of that be done. I, I think that I would have... The only thing I would have wanted to see more, I would have loved to see them go into the community. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And... and, and but not be a, I don't know, a normal place. So I don't know. Well, Ketara, but, remember, say, a long time we had talked about doing something up on the stream. It's been a long time. I started debate with Cranky and myself. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we raised this issue that you have to build you have to build fans. You know what I mean? And I, I'm sure that those children will never forget this day. They, never. They, they, they will see the, 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 um, the, what you call it, they get the signature, the autograph. And uh, five, ten years from now, they'll, they'll be at the box office at the stadium purchasing a, maybe a bleachers ticket at least. Mm -hmm. You are taking reggae boys. That's why. That's why you build a lawyer fan base. You know what I mean? Um, I noticed that a large crowd was around Leon Bailey. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that's something that I noticed. I noticed Ravel had his list, his list following too. Yeah, yeah. But it, it it it's a nice look, and I I think it, I have to applaud Coach Krim. Yeah, man, a big move that man. Yeah, man. Bop, 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 bop. You know what I mean? Big, big, big move. Big move. They, I hope tonight, Coach, we can get into um, what we see as the, the starting 11. But that's mm -hmm. going to be a big thing. 
Uh, but I want to ask, Coach, can you confirm if John Russell has received his passport? Well, Coach is this phone ring. And. Pika was calling him. I, I, I can't give away my sources, Katarak. You don't give okay. away your sources. Okay. But the information I got from that phone call is that the man, John Russell, has gotten his Jamaican passport. And that's the confirmation I got. I understand. So I'm just waiting to see him in Mexico. Mexico. You yeah, understand? So yeah, man. That's so a question because when we put it together, they are um, starting eleven. You know, we need to mm-hmm. know who is and who is eligible to go on the field. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, so that is true. congratulations, John Russell, on, on attaining your Jamaican citizenship. Wish you very well. Um, you don't really have big feet, but you certainly have big shoes to fill at that CDM position if that's where you are placed. You know, Let me ask you something, Katar. Yo, my friend. Me ask you something. I'm going to be honest yeah, man. with the people them mm-hmm. upon the stream. Mm-hmm. You understand? I'm never dishonest. Tell, no, no, man, sometimes you're disingenuous, man. I ain't know what you like you see, right now you are being disingenuous right now. So you're, you're not be truthful now. Because you say you have never been. <laughs> and it happened already. Yes. Anyways, what I'm saying, Katarak, you, you're not yeah, so yeah. too coy about this generous thing. Um, is he someone that you think can help the midfield position? And what sort of ratings you have for him? With the little or the much that you know. <coughs> I followed since he well you, you might recall two years ago, twenty twenty one, when I when I did and you can go over to Reggae Boys commentary and look at the piece I did about CDFs. John Russell's name was there more as a youngster. Mm-hmm. Um, John Russell really had two brilliant games and that was against Luton Town in the championship playoff. Um Last se- last season, uh, when he played 180 minutes and um, Huddersfield overcame Luton Town, but they got unravelled in the in the final. Mm-hmm. I don't see it, but the coach must have seen something. Um, I have, I have no evidence of John Russell being a combative um, CDM. He, he's a good passer. Mm-hmm. Good passer. But the... <laughs> and I spoke to one of his former teammates. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be the youth man. The uh, let's see what he brings when he comes to Jamaica. But mm-hmm. it wasn't all glowing reviews. However, he's in the squad and he has my support. Um, and like I said, it's big shoes to fill. Because the last time when he went to Mexico, somebody stood up. So he has to he has to stand up and and make himself counted. He's twenty two. Mm-hmm. So he has youthful legs, so you know, have that excuse. Um, and let us see. I mean I have to <laughs> you know my rule, once a squad drop, 100% support. Anytime before the squad drop, it can't work some discussion. Mm-hmm. You mean the starting 11? No, sir. I mean, when the squad drop, meaning that the coach has picked his squad, I'm, I'm not going to argue with the coach. I, as I said, there's only one <laughs> one surprise there for me that was the exclusion of Andre Gray. Mm-hmm. Um, when I raised it, and, and pointed out that Andre Gray had scored six goals in four games in the European Conference League. A man put in that comment section as against which kind of team. But yet, we say, oh, Travante Stewart has scored 10 goals. You know, it, 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 very, 
not balanced our reasoning. So Andre Gray is the only surprise. If you if you have one surprise rear coach, then you, you know what I mean? You have to accept that this is the best team that could have been put together. Um, I'd have had one hope, and that was that Whisper was included in the team, particularly yeah. with Mikhail Antonio not being there and Andre Gray not being called up. Of the of the strikers, I thought he was he was the he looked the best, but then he just looked the best to me as a fan. So obviously the coach is looking for something else. So I have to give respect due to the coach. But mm-hmm. everybody has to step up. Everybody has to step up. This is a result game. We have to win. There's no day off. We can't come and get no peanut colada. I agree. You know what I mean? And but but no man in a no parrot, there's no man in a yellow Hawaiian shirt with a parrot on him shoulder singing yellow bird under the mango tree. This is war. Mexico, although Mexico really is a friend of Jamaica, you know. Let me say this. Mexico is really a friend of Jamaica where football is concerned. Mm. I've never gone to Mexico. Well, we've had one experience, but it was it was settled the way that ultra settled things. But <laughs> we, we, they've been most welcome in two places that I've been most welcome is Argentina and Mexico. You know what I mean? Very welcoming fans. Um, welcoming people. You know what I mean? Who do, do, do have a bad thing to say about them. And I think the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And I, I will always go down and say in 98, I thought in that last game to qualify, they gave us a pass. They really didn't come here to upset the apple cart. Like in the second half, like in, after the seventieth minute, I, I don't recall them going past the halfway line. You mm-hmm. know, they just were happy to keep possession, happy to watch us keep possession. Because if you remember, we were we were knocking the ball around at the back with, with Peter Cargill in the middle there, just recycling the play. Mm-hmm. And we kept possession of the ball until that glorious final whistle. So Mexico will always be a friend to me as an ultra. I don't have anything bad to say about Mexico, but we are rivals in this game because we are going after one place. So it is what it is. So, yeah, people, what do you think? Can I answer a question? Can I ask him if you read the ball? I'll know me not hear the answer. Then me, I'll listen keenly, you know. Hmm? No, you, 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 you say, and I'm saying to you that I have spoken to a former teammate of the, of the player. And it's not all positive, but that could just have been dead. I'm not but I'm asking it. if you rate the player. Based if I on... rate the player, mm. if I rate the player is, is, is on, is, 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 has been made public a year ago. And since then... Katak, you bring up a player who has eligibility to play for the reggae boys. That doesn't mean you rate them. No, no, no. I gave you just inform the people. I breakdown of John Russell. But, right. but you know, no, tell, you, no, you no, said John something. I no, watched that no, video there. Yes, so we didn't know. When John Russell was at Huddersfield, when he really had a breakout at Huddersfield. Jesus, peace. Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me answer you. There's a player called Lewis O'Brien. Right? I think he has moved on into the Premier League now. I think he might be at Nottingham Forest, if my memory serves me correct. But Lewis O'Brien did a lot of dirty work. The dirty work. And, and John Russell really, you know, had a chance to be lethargic and all the time on the ball and stuff. Now we're asking him to do the dirty work. And I, I would like to see how he copes with that as a number six. Or is he going to be the number eight with, 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 with Kevin Lambert playing the number six? Those are interesting things. And as I said, I wasn't able to go to the training, quite honestly. I haven't been well. <coughs> I won't go down and take in the training yesterday. I really haven't been well. You're, you're a whisper? If I rate whisper, mm-hmm. I thought he performed creditably. And I thought he was one of the top three Jamaican born players in the in the over the two games against Trinidad. You rate whisper? Do I rate whisper? I don't unrate him. I said over Jesus the two games. Christ, no, my team, no, my team hey, you see, like you see people. Well on, well on. Like well, well on the cataract. No, it's not dry in a nothing cataract. I've been listening to you over the uh, over the time. 
since the team has been selected. And you are kind of a little bit of sidestepping when it comes down to John Russell. So, I wonder if it has shows that there is no ratings. But, put that aside. Yes, sir. Look, Panda, third to last comment then at the comment section. Why is your face there? It got yes, a fourth to last now. No, it's obviously a man who's a little low self esteem. You know what I mean? So, but why would you be? Why would you be permitting and your your moderator be permitting somebody who impersonates someone? I thought you had a rule about that. No, the person not impersonated. The person using your photo. So that's an impersonation. But that it, no, they are not using your name. They are using my photograph. But we asked okay. about it before. And I told you I have I have no knowledge of who this person is. I'm not amused. But there's nothing I can do and you seem quite okay with it. Me people. okay, me can't tell we have been asking the person why are you using cataract's photo? Yeah, and we now seem to be getting any answer. So may I say I must I must your cousin or your brother? Me no know. Yeah. Or your sister, me no. Family, they're my own family. Uh, Nathan Blake. But, but, but why, why you refuse to answer a question though? Just, just tell me that. John Russell, I have given you my assessment and I said to you that. Katarak, Katarak, what are you? Listen, Katarak, Katarak. You know when Coach means to come out and I ask question. I don't go around the corner. See? What are you? So when we ask you a question, I did not say catalog. Analyze John Russell's play. Uh, give me an assessment of Jonathan Russell. Give me an assessment of Whisper. I appeal that you give me when we ask you the question. You know? well, well, I, I am sure I can answer a question anyway. It, what's, what's the question you really want to ask and deep don't want to ask? Do I think that John Russell. Well, are you read Javan East? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, you know you put yourself now and trap this. No, what oh, you mean? It's, it's so, oh, you can't answer that. Fa fa you read Anthony Grant? You read Anthony Grant? You read Anthony Grant? I read Anthony Grant highly. Jesus, peace, cataract. So, what is so difficult or what is so easy for you to answer those? Two last questions directly. Because I and the other two you are giving me an are you allowing me to assessment. Me? No, me never finished. I'll be if you allow me to talk and me never finish. Okay. You're only giving me an assessment of the other two when it were it was the same question that was asked of you pertaining to those said two individuals okay. Okay. So let's, let's i have seen anthony granted more if you are going on with the soliloquy no bother with it please i'm sorry you can't badger the witness yes no but that no but, no well on every lie have them 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 stance and all the way modus operandi in you know, a brother you can't tell a liar say nothing ask, ask you that i ask you how you can't badger the witness of no that. of course the liar can't no. badger a witness no no no, no, no. the judge are going to stop me if both the judge don't ever stop me anthony grant don't ever stop me yeah. All right, now my father drop out and, and my brother take up my, my cousin take up the son. I don't know him something. What is his name? Ashanti. Shanti. Ashanti warrior. Bob Ashanti. Ashanti warrior. Yeah, man. Okay, okay. you know. But so that's like, so, honest living, you know. It's honest living to feed your family and things. But coach, let me answer this. I've seen Anthony Grant play over 100 games. Right? So I can make an assessment of it. I've seen other players play many games and can make. I've only seen Whisper in a handful of games. Right? I've not seen Whisper play 10 games with my eyes. And so to run up and say I read to it, it is a different thing. I gave the young man his credit. I said I thought he was in the top three players who were Jamaican born over the two games against Trinidad when he put on a national shirt. Um, one can say they... they 
Dujan Richards, Dwayne Atkinson, and um, <coughs> sorry, Dexter Lembekisi over the two games, right? But but and you know, really give an account of yourself. Although Dexter's not born here, but locally, oh the keeper, sorry, Kemar Foster, Kemar Foster really stood out in terms of the, the, the local Jamaican born players. Right? But you know, I don't wanna give people rating like oh, rate the ball. You have you have you have you have you have, to, you have to deliver. You have to deliver for me. And that's just my thing. I am saying that the jury is out on John Russell. The, and the jury is out. And I'm 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 giving him his credit that he had two exceptional games in the championship playoff last year. But a lot of that was facilitated by the work of Lewis O'Brien. Sensible discussion we have here. Now, is there a Lewis O'Brien in the Jamaica squad? Is Daniel Johnson going to do the dirty work? I don't know. Can I talk? You're the coach? You're the coach? You don't see coach coach 500 games. You don't see coach coach over 100 games. So stop it. I've seen the coach. The cataract, you know, sir. I have seen, I have Hey, people, be a spot on me, I go on, you know. He say, wow, give me a work on his son. See me, I say, that means the cataract knows say me deadly words. No, so, no, 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 nobody no, can go on. He, when say, cataract said, he has not seen Whisper in more than 10 games. He has not seen John Russell. But you see Anthony Grant in a 100 game. But yet, see the rate the coach. And he not see coach coach 100 game with the reggae boys. Or in every other aspect of him coaching career. Cataract, don't play with me. Ah, you know the thing. You know I'm put on. Hey, you know I'm put on a vice and a cataract. You know what And let me say again. Mm -hmm. I've probably seen the coach more than you. Because I watched well, him when he when he had Iceland there. But right. you 12 games are playing a one euro competition cataract. All tight, the bad man. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Well, all, well, all. Hey, people, don't get yellow card for that. Yellow card. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, man, tell me for the bedroom. Cataract. All tight, bad man. Oh, yellow card, yellow card, yellow card. And I will not rescind that yellow card. People need a VAR here, yeah? can it? No VAR. We're not a VAR over here. Mr. Mid is a megalomaniac. You might not say I read this, should I get? Cataract. You know you can't grow in the referee, I know. What I'm saying is, I have a, I have a tremendous respect for the way that the coach. Carl Gibson has approached the job as the Jamaican national coach. He has implemented a number of things that we have spoken about ad nauseum over the last two years. And he has come in and implemented some of those things. And so I, have, I hold him in high regard. I also understand that he's on a project. I'm willing to give him the time before being overly critical. I'm just going to give Paula all the time. And I gave Paula all the time. It's not, it's not me running with Paula. Cataract. But, but based on that, you know, Cataract. Based on you that, know. you know, Cataract. Hold on. Because we have a conversation. Based on that, I put it to you that you say you have never been disingenuous on this show. But I put it to you that you are being disingenuous. No. Because... You cannot use those stunts and try to shift the goalpost. You said the player played two games at the championship, he did well. Unless you are moving the goalpost when it comes on to player versus coach. Or how many times you have seen a player. Eh? You give Jevon East. How many times you watch Jevon East, Katarak? Holy Pajak. Holy heap of time, like how many times, Katarak? How much games in play for reggae boys? Pardon me? How much games in play for reggae boys? I watched Javon in the Premier League. Where I did not see Javon is I have not seen him in, in, in Central America because those games are not broadcast. Katarak, when, when you start watch Premier League? 
when I start watch Premier League, hey. on my upon my return to Jamaica in nineteen ninety seven. Hey, in, hey, and, people, uh, cataract, in cat, hey. and go and ask anybody at Arnett Gardens. Cataract. Qatar, I, mean, I was a season to be Yeah, play a sound, man. And I watch the game. Yeah, play a sound. Yeah, but but there, but there, the sound can't play during the game. All right, so Rob Smith, you say now. Look here, Qatar. Look here. Your sound can't play through the game, but you talk to somebody about football. Qatar, mm-hmm. tell who say is him now watch Premier League. I recently start watch Premier League and schoolboy yeah. football. Oh, no, Qatar company screen is stream and say that people. You know, so how know. comes him a movie goal post you now? That is a mendacious. It is not. You it's came it. on stream and say you know you know watch Premier League. I recently I you start watch it and you start go match. So I uh, went since Arnett God is coming now. From 1997, whether you to call us heartbreak or not, Qatar, you, you, you have been lying to the people, man. No, no, no. You can't say mendacious. I may I say lie? You have been lying to the people, man. Hold on, no, 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 don't misquote me. You have been lying to the people, man. No, no, no. You are, you are, you are overreaching. Mm-mm. I am. I Mr. do you see him play Qatar. I do not watch or did not watch. For the length of the season, school boy football because I never attended any school in Jamaica, so I don't have any. I don't have any affiliation or this great urge to watch school boy football apart from last season when it was the under twenty and the under seventeen. So I said, okay, let me just run that good eye over the player them and see who is who up there. But you can't come tell me it's a minute when I watch. Well, no, sir. Katara, you know, you're, you're missing. You're missing yeah? farming people them. I first be a year unless somebody can uh, can can say. But I first me a year cataract a talk about the um. I try to find me on it, gardens pass. I'm sure. No, me no say you no cataract. Me never say you no pass. I don't you know. But by a seat, cataract. I first be a year talk about a local team where you where you support. Me know, you, me, know you have, me know you have certain persuasion in terms of color code, you know. But me never hear talk about them in a football. And let me tell you for the real life. There's only, I think, in between 2006 or seven when, when the thing did get steamy over my side of the politics. I mean, never go with Omar Davis and little violation happened. And that season alone, I me, 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 me go wrong a jungle. No, sir. No, but Katarak, I fir- people, no, I first when I hear say Katarak is a sub- is a supporter on it gardens. In in since in company pa- pa- on YouTube and a talk, whoever hear Katarak come out clearly. It's a, I say him in for like um on it gardens. I have never heard it. So if he said on other stream, forgive me. I've never heard it on coach's desk. I do speak. I fall on it, God. It's not a thing, but it's painful to watch it. I don't know if it's something to get up on a Sunday and go down there and watch. I even said to you that when a whole group of us decided to go and watch Arnett Garden, we're going to talk about the sustainability of the league. We man used to ride bike and come meet to a half a tree and then pilot to into jungle. And I Mm-mm. said, you know, how sustainable never hear that. is that? That's not sustainable. No, me I say me never me never hear that Qatar. That's why me I say if you give say yourself it, a yellow card, man. give yourself a yellow card. Who forget yellow? My my you second. Know, hey, if you, if you tell the referee, if you if you tell the ref Qatar, if you tell the referee to give himself a, a yellow card, you might get a second one, which will lead to a red. Course, I cannot card. recall, and are many things, a, a, a few things, me never recall. But, all right, so, so people let me tell you. So let us get back. No, me, back. so if if the people them say it, me, 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 can't, me can't go around it. But the people them can't tell me, say me hear it. That are the thing, you know, that are the difference, you know. Okay, so now, Coach, you, you, you are taking the Bill Clinton thing. I no, see, I see here where you got now, Pol- Qatar, remember you have a certain persuasion color-wise, you know. When, when and Qatar, me, 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 but me, I tell the Qatar, I say, me never hear you talk about Arnett God and your team and the junglers and them something. There. When you ask a motorcade for half a chief, you go, me never hear about that. No, I said, we used to, we used to rain at the 
Texas Texaco gas station on halfway through road. Hey, I mean, I thought road. first me I hear that. Oxford Road. And then couple two couple man from bike would ride out and then pile up the, the, the people them in. How no. me, me never hear that. And as me say, a few things me feel to remember. But, but it's a two hour program. You know, it is not about cataract. So the, the, the team is there. You ask me and say the jury is out on John Russell. John so you're not know, rate him? John Russell, uh, John Russell has played really So well. you're not know, rate him? A first team football. So you're not know, rate him? The jury is out. So you're not know, rate him? The jury is out. So you're not know, rate him? So you know, rate him. Oh, you, you, time you say you're not know, rate him? No, you me I ask him. you, me say, so you're you not know, rate him? Huh? You're rate the player? I cannot rate him and I have never seen him play. Nobody, nobody that you make know nothing about John Russell. No, me at, uh, me and you will talk about it now. Other people might watch him before. So you can't say nobody. We are going to watch him before. Russell, he was not, is it the second half of the season he start, start the others feel. Um, when they were the up on that round, they had that, this German guy was the coach um, for Huddersfield. And they, they just missed out on, on, on promotion. I think Nottingham Forest, I think they, <coughs> they, correct, they lost to Nottingham Forest, and that's why Nottingham Forest is in the league now. Right? Because Fulham and... Um, what the other team they will get promoted? Fulham and... Which team come up last year, coach? Because they were going well. <laughs> them team there. But it, 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 so I, I the jury is out. I am I am not going to So Kata, I mean, I mean, so off me with that word jury. Could you break it down for me, please? The jury. Mm -hmm. The twelve, the twelve men and women who are peers. So you have decide. You have you have you have this. You have decide. Please, I walk with it. The men of Jesus. No, but you said the twelve. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I said to him. All right, you can't stay up. You can't stay offline then. You can't stay offline. Duckland, you can't get a kanga offline. Duckland, tell him back what's your partner's stuff, brother. You and him. You and right. him can stay offline. The Katak, are you attacking? You know? That deserve a, hey, that that deserve a warning, Katak. You so much man there half line in the Katak. I said the man them. I don't only put man them. They mean a bartender. When I saw the nice bleach in a in a in a then short shots of sort of really cut to him and them. Anyways, Katak, you read generous though? The jury is out on John Russell. And so, I oh, when me, I ask me a question. Ask me again. So, who just a command can hear? Ask me a question. Mm -hmm. uh, coach, coach. No ask me the same question, man. Ask me the same question, man. Who are the ladies may ask them question, man? Cataract. Cataract. A football, where deal with you know? You see? He misbehaves. You see what happened? You see what I'm team? Then cut off in light. Iron Man, what do you mean by Hector 2.0? Iron Man, hey, one thing with the Jamaica, you hey, know, great hard, you know? Then, then cut off in light, Katarak. No, I'm going to tell you, I walk by more, by about three different Wi Fi. So I walk from one place to the other, it, it, it chip out and jump on to the next Wi Fi. Anyway. I, I think that John Russell would be a starter. Uh, do you think that he'll be starting? You I'm think... Sorry, you you are asking me if I think he's going to start? Yes, I do, sir. Huh? I don't yes, know. Sir. I don't know, coach. You're a John Russell fan club. No, it's not a fan club, Keter. I just ask some question. Remember, you ask me and I tell you that I, I, I can't rate him and I never see him. Remember, say me ask me an answer directly, na brother. Me na go around the thing like you know. You understand? I I, 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 and I am, I am saying to, to think no, and and and, and I, I, I I don't think so. 
Michael Hector is, is, is a very mobile player, etc. Look here. I have been clear and unequivocal. Mm -hmm. The the heir apparent to Anthony Grant has not been found yet. And I hope the GFF in the upcoming months, he's not available. I don't think he'll even be available right now until the new season. Is to convince Isaac Hayden, who is a superior CDM to Anthony Grant. Right? In most respects. But the other youth, they may have come up. They have question marks over them. They have question marks. You have a, you have, I told you already, they have, they have four of them, including John Russell, who is in the age group of 22, 23. Right? And none of them, a couple of them are through injuries. Right? Um, Tasha and Oakley Boot broke his back while playing at Stoke. But he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't demanding the thing at Stoke. It, it, it was John Obi Mikel who was there. He couldn't force him out of the squad at John Obi Mikel's age and stage. So you have to ask questions about. But I think you have an, a brilliant group of teenage CDMs who I would love. I would keep tracking and see which one of those develop into a true number six for Jamaica. The most combative of them being 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 um Jaden Rodney at um or Kira Anderson, sorry. Kira Anderson at, at Charter. So uh. let's see let's see what happens. Delano's plat plays C D M but he's more of a he's more of a, a box to box kind of, of player. But sometime he has played there. So let's see who develops. Um Dante Casanova is is does play C D M. And he played decently at, at PL2. So let, let's see. But I, so I, I'm asking you if you expect John Russell to start. People, we expect John Russell to start. We'll see that chat where people are saying. We expect John Russell to start. People expect John Russell to start. At, at, um, Crystal Image, I, I third time this mega answer now. I don't read. There's no ratings for him yet because I've never seen him play to be honest. You understand? So anyways, let let let, let us see 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 you with them. I seven and they are now and was the tell us so many people have put down the seven badness. And that don't make a try to do the Let me go down and go on, bro. But, 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 Kata, the down. coach, the coach said something interesting there, you know. Yes. What, what, what did you find interesting? He said that the tactics for the game that they played against Trinidad is going to be a totally different thing from what they'll use in Mexico. Because... To, to qualify it, he said that he th he said that the Trinidad game was only to look at players. players. So you don't then just go play some ball and and you try to evaluate them. So it's not like him give them a, any super tactics or any thing incredible for them to try and. Understand, understand, and go play. So that's basically it. So people, want to say about the private jet? Oh, right, look, regular boys logo on private jet. Jeremy, and what go on? Uh, well, we're good. We there, you know. You go on. You go on beat up Qatar, you know. Yeah, what good go one man? Hmm. So, been watching what go on, man? Yeah, yeah. So you, you do you, you, you forward for help him? Huh? You forward for help him? Both, both, both Russell? <laughs> no, overall. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> What's your view on John Russell? How many people have seen John Russell play more than maybe they, they, they honestly the game the, 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 the championship playoff showed on um sports box. So, right? so Qatar, that's why it should have been an easy answer for you. 
Look how me big bad and brave and say, me can't rate him and I'm not seeing him play yet. That's yeah. why it should have be an easy answer and you could have quantified your answer by saying or qualified by saying yeah, I I have not seen him play many games. I mean Katarki asked a question a while ago though if we expect him to start. I do. Oh. Yep. I, I expect him to start. I do. Really? I expect him to yeah, start. Ma- yeah. I'm on where him the rate? <laughs> I'm not that I have the jury so, out for. Why, 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 <laughs> Katarak, why? anytime a jury out for somebody, that means you don't rate them. Don't take me for no four for somebody. You can either come back guilty or not guilty. Hmm? So, coach, why me expect him to start, Zil? Mm hmm. In um, I think press conference before, I heard the coach saying that he had eyes on him before. He wanted him for the Argentina game. However, the documents weren't ready. Right. So, so he been wanting him to see how he play on the park under him. So I don't think he br- he brought him in this window. And as we know, he now knows that the CDM position is is a problem position for us, and we are short sure there. You know, I don't think he really go to him. We are bringing in the twenty two year old not to start him. He wants to sh- start him. He wants to groom him and um to go forward because they hear him say how how old him be and. By the World Cup come around, he should be in uh, um, mature enough and learn a lot more stuff in, in that era. Fee. You know, if he can do us some justice. So, we definitely expect him to start that. Mm-hmm. Will it be a double pivot with. Um... I mean, I have that. You know, Katara can talk about formation if we are going to do formation. Eh? Honestly, I do have it as a double pivot with DJ. With DJ? Yep. Or Lambert. No, me not, me not too, too, me, yeah. Wait, say not too rate, you know, I, so, so, so let me ask you, um, Jeremy, you rate Lambert? Huh? You rate Lambert? No, sir. Okay. Okay. Second question about Lambert. The coach took Lambert to the Argentina game, right? He was a part of the squad. Mm-hmm. He, he did, did he play? No. Mm-hmm. And that's even when we were looking to lock down the game because we were losing one nil, and you know Messi came on here thought, okay, let me bring on a player now who can help shore up the midfield. And that didn't happen. So I don't know. Um, the selection of Lambert does baffle me. Mm-hmm. Um, let, let me tell you, in the JPL of domestic basis CDM, right? I'll tell you who I have a lot of time for. I have a lot of time for Andrew Vanzi. I have a lot of time for Fabian McCarthy. Right? I, I really have a lot of time for those two players. Soon. And I, I, I think they, they better understand the CDM role. They're more mobile than Lambert, who tried to give us his best impression of molasses. Eh? Every time I'm a player, the best impression of molasses, brother. <laughs> People don't know what molasses do when it's, if it's short. It take a while, so it's slow. <laughs> slow boat to China. Slow boat to China. <laughs> All right, so let us let us see. People, drop on a squad in the comment section. Drop on a squad. So let us work because with the see if we can work out a starting eleven. <laughs> hey, when you go molasses, you know, a, a wicked this starting up. <laughs> hey, people, vibing saying, don't think so, I coach a select players them. But Kevin same thing, him select Lambert just in case Russell never get him passport. Hey, you know, say. You know, say me have a something just jump out at me. Me have a stream for go make pon this. Let me write it down. First, Let me write it down. Uh, well, you're right on the thing. I want to big up Barry Hill, who played ten times for Jamaica, was made 
a first team appearance at age 50 in, in a non league football and still a play non league football at age 50. Barry Hill, formerly of Fulham and um, represented Jamaica 10 times. Unfortunately, he never scored for us. But big up Barry Hills and, and making her. What you know, so them have a something named over 50 team, over 50 team in England. Mm -mm. So, we have over 50 teams so we can get to see all our wings. Walter Boy and a player. JFF. Try to get to an over 50 squad, man, because we can watch all our things and, and Nandi Lowe again. Yeah. Yeah, Chatark, if they, if, if they not go, if they not, if. Chatark, why you tell him my name, sir, man? Never no, mind, they not go butch, <laughs> man. That. They were over 50 World Cup. But yeah. really, then if we are struggle for, it. if we are struggle for make a, 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 a World Cup where we have young, fresh, and fit players. We are going to unfit players. Eh? We are going to unfit players. Are you going to get a game? I'm going to turn to something. I'm going to be 15 years old. Yeah, man. You're not going to go in, go in as a master player, man. I'll, I'll, I'll not <laughs> let's play it, you. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back and play it, you know. I, 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 I want some service. Where did Dali them? Watch me are you. I want to go for server them. So, so coach, who is starting goal? Let's get let's get down to brass tacks. Hmm. Kema Kema Foster or or Jamali wait. You know what's uh, You know what's uh, for me. I I I am going with with weight, you know. Yeah, I think all things point to weight. You know, weight a bit. But I, I, I prefer I, I I really have to give a lot of props to Kemar Foster. Foster for Foster bad for real man. Me not take nothing from it. And, and but Qatar, all right. So are your team this? Yeah, yeah. Pick Foster. No, no, no. I, if we talk about who's going to start, it's going to be Jamali weight. All right. Alright. Two central team. defense. Uh, Ethan Pinnock, Damian Lowe. Left back, Amari Bell. Right back, Javine Brown. Mm-hmm. I believe we're playing a double pivot. Um this is really, really difficult. Something questionable. I think Sean Russell alongside Daniel Johnson or or Raphael. So like that was Ravel, I think will start. Ravel is sir? Yeah, I think Ravel will start. I think the coach I've been seeing him would have would have brought it back. I wouldn't start Ravel. I, I, I if you're asking me honestly, I would start. Right, no, you're a team man. I went since we are pick coach yeah. team man. I mean, so we're talking about the starting lineup that we expect. You said not based upon your your own assessment, but you're not have to put that say where you coach at it. I'm going to have to say the coach answer. No, you can't, you can't pick your team. Daniel Johnson, for me, is, is the attacking midfielder. You know? Mm hmm. Um, of course, thanks. So I would have Leon Bailey on the left. Jamal. So, probably Bobby Reed on the, the right. Both of them. What is about that team? Uh, Jeremy, what is about that team here? So, the only difference 
we have in the team that Cataract pick is DG and Ravel switching position because I really, for me personally, I don't like Ravel playing that deep. You know, so only switch is DJ going that deeper and Ravel playing as the attacking midfielder. That's the only change in that squad. Master. All the rate that squad of people. Alright, Mr. Fun of mine that I say eight. Julie said look good. Andrew I asking know. about um Lemby Kisa. I don't I don't think you can have two players or three players making their debut in the Azteca. I think that's asking for trouble. I think that's asking for trouble. And the truth is that Javan Brown Javine. played Javan Brown played decently against Argentina the last time the court saw him. So I don't see mm -hmm. And again, with the court saying that he doesn't want to put pressure on the young players and destroy their confidence, I don't see him starting him. I see him probably bringing him on at some point. Depending on the scoreline, they give him a first cap so he can start cap up the man. Them. I see, I see Jamal Lowe coming off as a super sub. I don't see Corey Burke. Um, but again, Corey Burke, I think when you think the Mexicans are a little tired to come and run at them. Um, you get some, well, some good grades drop nine. Eight, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half. All right, but um, Joe Grant said Lambie keys are for Brown, and Owen, Owen is asking, who will be the tackler in the middle oh, of the park? That I don't know. That I really don't know. I really don't know. Can DJ tackle? Can Russell tackle? Based on, on, on the reports on, on Russell, Russell is, a, is, is not a tackler and I'm more advanced still, you know, because his main position is the attacking. No, man, it's a central midfield. Central midfield, midfield, box to box, box sorry. To box. Yeah. So he he's not really. He's not putting a lot of dirty work. So you see but, them three man in the middle? But let me let me let me say this, coach. I mean, the box to box middle mid, mid, middle I, I, person, I have to say to this about them. John Ross is a tall fellow. Right? Mm -hmm. He's not going to get down in many ground jewels, right? Really, it, it, it you don't find CDMs. It's very rare. Uh, Matic um, was at Chelsea. Matic. Um, but you don't really find CDMs, tall CDMs, because they, they, they're generally not built to, 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 to get down um, and win ground jewels. But there they, they are, they are a couple who, you know, um, who, who are the exception. But if you're looking at the Contes of this world, the Declan Rice, the Calvin Phillips, 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", 5'11", maybe. But really who will tell something so I don't know who's going to be tackling in the middle of the that's, that's interesting for me to see very interesting but given given the professional setup of the team and the caliber players that we have. Don't you believe that um, the coach will give one of these three players some sort of special responsibility? Marking 20 year old midfielder, I'm not sure. what's his name again? The, the 20 year old that was running the Mexico middle. No, no, but remember, a whole heap of players, um, 
So I don't know if he's going to make it back, but there was a 20-year-old who really was running the things against Suriname. I heard him. I can't remember the name. Everybody knows. It was a youngster was running the middle. Last time he came up against an 18 year old or a 15 year old, he never got to well for us. So, I don't know. But remember, the coach is, is harboring thoughts that this Mexico yeah, team be will be a different team than what played in yes, Serena. Yes, yes, so I, I believe so. I believe so. Because. Mexico will not be taking any chances with Jamaica as no, no, as no. comfortable as they might be in in the position that they are, they are at now. I doubt that they will be taking any chances with this reggae boys team. What to begin what? with? This is a more solid team than what they might be used to. You understand? So, I think they will not be taking any chances. Coach, Mexico, I look for steam out with chess and burn off with So, we can go to your go ramp. I don't think we are going to go ramp. I think the coach is oh. going to set up a structure where I'm going to be different. Go at it. I'm interested to see if he's going to employ a counter attacking strategy that says he soaks up the player and try to hit them on the break and, and win by that odd goal. Mm. Um, and then if we score and go ahead and just park the bus, interesting to see. But you, you, you can't really park the bus against a Mexico team, you know why? Well, yeah. you can, you know. But the the, the, in the grand scheme of things, you have to defend against Mexico with some amount of discipline. But well, that's what parking the bus is. Yeah, but you can park the bus on the man and push the bus because you, have, you probably have it in a in a neutral and never put it in a gear. No, so them can't the push it. To, you, have, you have to pay attention to the offside because offside becomes your friend because you're trying to catch the players offside. You also have to maintain a shape and nobody gets dragged out of position. One of your center backs don't um become indisciplined and get dragged out of position. It 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 it, it really is, but I, I, so I, I'm interested. I'm intrigued for the game on Sunday. Seven PM. Is it seven PM Jamaica time or seven PM? Yeah man, I think it's seven PM Jamaica time. So coach I mean, I if, Yeah man, come here. If if we have any type of focus like what we had in that Argentina game until Messi came on the field in the 88th minute, mm -hmm. we're in for a brilliant game against Mexico, honestly. And then uh, addition of Ethan Pinnock coming into the back line, I think for me, strengthens it because everybody else was in the back line except Ethan Pinnock mm -hmm, in that mm -hmm. Argentina game. You know, so if the rest of guys, along with Ethan Pinnock, um, come in and have anything close to what I saw in the Argentina game, it will be a, a, a excellent performance. And the attacking players take, take, take their chances are better decision-making. Because even though we didn't have much chance against Argentina, a lot of our decision-making going forward was poor when we get a, a slip chance to do some damage mm -hmm. you know so that's the, the, that that make that much i can say i think that's a, a, a spot on um view on it Jermaine, because ethan bring a wealth of experience toughness grit aerial duel um the mexicans will play it in and around with some trickers so you have to have somebody who can read the play Damien always seem to have a lot of interception as well. So that 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 argues well for us. I think the two defenders will help us. Evening Pinnock in in attack. Especially when we, we are from a dead ball situation where we have like a a corner kick. You understand? So either of them can 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 attack the ball and, and get one in the back of the net. 
So that is a plus for us where the defense is concerned and they can translate that into the attack. It is also a plus for us. So I see I I I I I see I see something good happening in this game. The defense is a little bit more sure. If if we could take our chances and, and you know you know why I think you can't really defend against this Mexico team. And you still can't play them too open as well. Because that's probably what they would want to shred you apart. But if you give them space on the ball to play the football, they're going to hurt you. They will hurt you. Also, Mexico is a very patient team. And they will knock at the door, knock at the door, knock at the door. They will wait. That's what I saw them doing against a Suriname team. But is our team more experienced and more solid than a Suriname team? Are we able to sustain? It's a game that we are playing away from home. Are we able to sustain the barrage of attack that will be coming from the Mexicans? In them, um, another major thing um, that needs to happen, and the coach mentioned it. Being cheating, he said he went up or he goes to most of the the, the, the Premier League games on a Sunday, right? Or uh, whenever they play to watch the game. I think one of the reporters asked a question about the long balls being played in the game, in the Trinidad game, and he said, um, even though. The space was there to play the long ball. We did it too early and too much. Mm -hmm. Right? But that, and he said that shows a lack of confidence. Right. But, but he said he has the players for two days and 90% of the game that he watches, as soon as the centre-back or your defender goes under pressure, that is what they do at their club team, they go along with the ball. So it's not going to change overnight. No. Those are not the same players that he has. No. He refers to these players are uh, more seasoned than, you know, they might play in a Premier League, they might play in a Championship. So, when you come under pressure, right now, based on the coach speaking, um, he's got his philosophy that you should not kick away my ball, you should not play my ball long. You get me? You should make your moves, make your passes, and take yourself out of trouble instead of just turning over the ball. So, once he thinks in this game, we have to protect the football. I think we have the, 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 the quality and the path to impose ourselves on the game and not just wait as sort of function of the ball. Yeah. All right. So this, 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 very, very, very well, well said, um, Jeremy. Um, this is Jay, anyway, that the Arbor View man team. What do you think about a team here? Travis, may I look for your team? I'm not see it, you know. The only, the only change he made to that is the goalkeeper, Amal Knight. Many people believe that Amal Knight will be the starting goalkeeper. As an experience. Uh, Amal Knight. Yes, sure. Slapped. Right? Slapped. He was not assured against Suriname nor against Mexico. And I think um, Jamali Wait was very assured against Cameroon. And Kemar Foster, when he played against Trinidad, was very assured on Kamali. Made some brilliant saves. So mm. I, I, I don't know. But I just think that's Dre with his harbor view. <laughs> uh, on the close. I don't, <laughs> I don't see how Amal Knight forces his way into a team. Particularly with a player that, when, when the coach has had two goalkeepers that he has worked with uh, since he, he taken the race. So, I don't, I don't see that. I don't, I don't see that. Okay, okay. Alright, so, Jay, anyway, that, I want to know how could that team, that Jay. Alright. So, I will go on this one. 
I see that one here now. Hey, Katarak, you know, we have a slight feeling he'll, he'll play um, Nichols and Bailey up, up top. Yeah, but, but the, the, um, that's if it's 4 4 2. Right, correct. But I, I think he alluded to the fact that he wouldn't be playing 4 4 2. He alluded to the fact that he won't tell you what he's going to play. Or that he wasn't wedded to 4 4 2. Well, yeah, he's not wedded to it, but you know, he, he, him saying that no means him now come back with it. Yeah, I'm saying it depends on the circumstances. Right, right, right. I think the circumstance needs something else. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't say my shoe hard today. All right, this is oh. a quote. This are, this are, this are Eagle Republic team. What do you think about that team there? You can call it out, coach. <laughs> oh, Corey Burke, Leon Bailey, Jamal Lowe, Ravel, <coughs> Russell, Lambert, Bell, Pinnock, Lowe, Dexter, Waite. Um, I think a lot of loopholes in the team. Um, Corey Burke, Jamal is a lot, for me, is a lot more clinical than Burke. Work, work, Burke work rate is always there but scoring the goal i think shamar i'm more confident shamar for put the ball at the back of the net um and then dexter um, I, have a, I don't think i have a problem with dexter play this either lambert have a big problem when i'm in midfield right there so no, that i can say uh, get one seven Seven. So, where's the Qatar? Um, I, 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 sorry, I don't think that's a mad thing. A mad squad that. And then, and then we will be sitting here looking like Grenada. In seven on the way, Bungo Peas, booping our head. <laughs> no, man. Um, Shamar. Scored in, in the Azteca. Yeah, but somebody uh, asked what kind of farm him the pan now. Are you work on the Yeah, go by, what, by what the last farm Corey Burke on now? Hmm? What kind of farm Corey Burke is that? I don't think, I don't know. Exactly. He, just moved, he just moved to the next club. club. So I'm thinking he scored the last time. He had a big money transfer. Um, Obviously, it would be. Would be be coached by I want to higher grade coaches because the, the coaching level is you have a pro license at that level. But um I seen a different system. Um, I really haven't I don't watch the Russian League. I don't even know if it play. I don't see any reports on it. So what what's his stats for this this season coach or even after the World Cup? Not not no. much no, I'm not hearing a lot of noise. No no I'm going yeah, me not hearing a noise. But I, I think a player of his stature earn earn the right to a starting bird. Now, if Mikhail Antonio was there, I, I'd have a different thing to say. Um, Jamal is a player. You know, I think we have done him a, we have done him a disservice because mm -hmm. I honestly believe that. From the first game he came against America, I think Tapper kind of messed up that youth there. Because the score was your debut and then just be dropped inexplicably. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, and he had just sort of developed a chemistry with Andre Gray. They had worked hard in, in that USA game to build up a chemistry understanding and then he just rip up the script. I don't know. I think Boza deserve. I mean, he's not my player. I don't. I don't really rate him. Put it that way. Um, but I think he deserved his credentials um, and pedigree. Would 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 particularly with a coach that is starting over a program. It would 
I, I couldn't see that you, you put him on a bench. No, sir. But somebody make a good point, you know, say, um, something there, you know, have such a good start, but the only four, the only striker we have in form right now, Johnson Clark, Harris, because even if Antonio did come, would he be in, in, an informed striker? He never, he never gonna get a lot of games either. Antonio score when he wants to score. When I say he scored two in a, in a Europa League, you know. Mm -hmm. he he score a double, yeah. Yeah, so he score when he feel like score. He turn it on and off when he wants to. But the, the, it, I really think the, the failure to get Johnson, the failure to put Johnson Clark Harris, because I think that player is a 50 50 responsibility. Him mm. kind of lays up here uh, ADHD where you have an attention deficit. Because you can't, go miss, you can't get an appointment and then go miss it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, but then it, 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 you know his name was not included on the letter for an expedited reappointment. Mm. So I don't. All but right, it, so I think he's the severe miss. He, he is the most informed striker that we have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is, and I, I believe that whenever he becomes an international, he's going to serve us well over the next couple of years. I mm -hmm. look forward to seeing him in the World Cup. The devastating left foot. Good free to take her and good penalty to take her. Germany, I try to say something. Hold on, hold on. Reggae boys come in, she said, six players who have played in the Aztec already. Maria, Paolo, Burke, Taxi, Boza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, we know. So, are you suggesting that these are the players that will start? Is that is is that the reason for that, um, Simon? Duclan said, the more he looks on the team, the more he feels stress. <laughs> uh, Kyle, what's up? Welcome. Yeah. yeah, coach, I'm trying to log in. I'm wondering if you're hearing me because I don't know. I'm yeah, man, we are here, man. We are here, yeah. Oh, good. All right, well, um, good night to the panelists and the viewers. Yeah, and, and like um, what Simon was saying, I mean, we have an experienced squad. You know, um, looking at this part of me, most of these guys have, have played together before, you know. And um, what really gives me encouragement is, is coach. You know, from, from what I see, you know, he, he looks like a fearless coach. Because when he went up against Argentina, he played two attackers up, up front, Corey Burke and uh, Nichols. And, and everybody was expecting him to be defensive. So my thing is, you know, be prepared for the unexpected when, when we face Mexico. I don't think that he's going there to um, take a top approach or a René Simois up, up, approach and hunkering down for um, 90 minutes and hoping for a lucky goal. You know, not, not saying that he's going out there to play, you know, rashly, you know, but it will be a very, you know, controlled, concerted effort to get a win. Put it like that. Yeah. Okay. But I like, I like the, the, um, the squad, though. I really do. You know, I, I like, um, Cataract squad, but um, like Jermaine said, I would put Ravel in the middle as an at attacking piece. Yeah. yeah, let us put back that team because I'm not think. Why, why, why do you put it back? Let me ask. Um, Kyle, mm -hmm. Kyle, why do you think Ravel has never been given that some role in Jamaica by any coach? All right. First of all, the previous coach didn't even want him to start, which is Tapa Whitmore. The man had him on the bench. You know, <laughs> when um, Tapa left, Paul Hall put him in the um, team. Now, my thing is, you know, we don't know how to play Robert. Well, Paul Hall really didn't know because when he had him then, 
we were in the middle of a campaign and he's still trying to figure out his team. Now, this coach has it. Same thing. You know, he's still trying to figure out his team. Ravel is a passer. You know, he is the only credible attacking midfielder that we have. You know, and, and we have been dying for one. We have to give somebody a chance to basically exploit that position. Why not start now? You know, that's how I see it. And 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 this coach has brought him to defensive midfielder. Why wouldn't he give Ravel the role to be the attacking midfielder? That's why I'm saying do I expect the coach to pull off the, the you know pull off something that we don't expect? which is to be more attacking against Mexico. Remember, you know, Me Mexico only beat us 2-1 the, the last time in Mexico. You know? you know, I, I mean, Mexico hasn't been giving us six love in a long time, you know, which, which tells me that we are getting ready to basically give them one. You know what I mean? So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if what? If we pull it off, oh, do not be surprised. I mean, number one, this coach is a Liverpool man, you know, from what I've seen in all his his games. I don't say say a defensive game. None of his games have been a defensive game. It's always pressing, pressing to attack to score a goal. Always, you know, and and he's not afraid to mix it up. You know, come on, I mean. I'm, I'm really expecting a good game. You know, so I'm, I'm looking for the win. Somebody send me a squad, you know. Somebody send me a squad. Somebody message my phone. So I got a, a, a squad. I think it was, I think it was like, when I got this message. Probably f a few days ago. Corey Burke up top. Bobby Reed on the left, Ravel Morrison and Daniel Johnson in the middle, Leon Bailey on the right. In defense, Bell, Lawrence, Pinnock, Low Brown. And Wait is the is, is the defender. Is the goalkeeper. Why do you think about that? Welcome to the show. Yes, pleasant, pleasant night. Pleasant. Yeah man, turn off the button. Yeah, turn off the button. Um, give my opinion. Turn off the background. Yeah, may I give my opinion. And yeah, man, we hear, but we, may I hear my myself in the background? So you have to pause the stream. Yourself? Stream pause already. All right, go ahead now. Yeah, me just I give my take on the um on the squad. What the on the feet? What what the on the screen? Mm -hmm. Right. Me feel like say for um win the game, we have to win the midfield. Right. And the only way we can win the midfield is have tacklers in the midfield. The reason him bring two, to me, the reason him bring the two CDM that are um, Russell and Lambert, mm -hmm. my thing said the two of them for start. Ravel play behind the striker and you have Jamal Lowe. Pan one I ring, wing them or Bobby Reed. The reason being again, look on it again. Remember, we don't have a good square off the ball. If we can recall, Taxi at one time was the only left back we have or whip the ball in. We just never have a finish. And him whip the ball and Shamar Nicholson score against Mexico. Mexico, mm -hmm. Right? So me feel like say we can use instead of starting Brown, Javin Brown him just a make up numbers to me. I feel like Dexter Fe over Deso. Right? If you are going to use experience again, you use maps over low and have him on pin up. Then you either have Bell or Taxi. Either or start the game and one finish it. We always concede late in the game. If we not concede mm -hmm. early, we, we concede very late. So it's like if we are going to concede late on in the defense, we are going to have Taxi come on with the fresh legs. Um, Lou come on with the fresh legs to replace um, maps or Richard King, whatever fee, just, um, so we, we have to win the, the midfield. We have to win the midfield for win the, the, the game. Anybody can score. Any one of them out there can score. Bailey, Shamar, any one of them can score. From them get the ball. So the only way we are going to have um, Lambert and Russell 
of get the ball from the defense to Ravel, Ravel to the strikers. Make it game easier for Ravel to play attacking role instead of a defensive role in the game. That's just my opinion still. All right, Carla. Uh, thanks for the opinion. But don't go. Any question anybody want to ask the caller or, or it's a sol- some solid points they make? I mean, um, well, me agree with the caller before him saying that rather have to play higher up the park. I understand why any coach that play a little bit deeper. Zim, because Ra- Ravel is the one to really bring the ball forward to an attacking player then, based upon who they are the squad, honestly. Mm-hmm. He, he's the better passer than Ota, Russell and DJ. So, while I want him to play higher, I understand why they play him deeper. You get me? So, having Ravel as the, as the, as the 10 and nobody to get the ball to him, that's another problem. You get me, so. So you uh, feel like you feel like um sorry about that. You feel like um the defensive like the the the, the two defensive midfielder them cannot collect the ball from Pinock the experience of Pinock have or um the experience where Russell no nah, I'm not Russell Russell not two two have no full experience like the Lambert or a Bell him can like feed. I remember even taxi, you know, taxi is an overlap, you know, taxi overlap to me more than Bell, you know. So, okay. it's like, the pressure, you know, is so, so the pressure I, where we need, I, I, where we need to win the game, you know. So, I'm not talking about Bell, I'm not talking about taxi. Lambert has proven in numerous games that he cannot progress the ball and bring the ball forward or pass the ball forward in an efficient manner to the attacking players. So, Improving and his stamp with Lambert, right? You, 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 I, and you see, you bring mobs in our team. Me personally believe we can't start mobs because mobs legs right now. Not only legs, you know, not only legs. I'm um, sorry to interject there, um, Jeremy. Not only legs. I think mobs have been having problems where the crosses are concerned, and Mexico likes to play the ball. In the middle of the park are the isolated players to swing in across. So if they are, if Mops is going to play, that might be an, an issue with him dealing with the crosses from the Mexicans. Yeah, that's that's why we, we use him or Damien Low. Mm-hmm. Just feel like, you know, just like Amari Bell and um, Taxi, either are. One start, one finish. So even if Low goes start, Mops can come and close it out because we always concede in the 75 minutes. Mm-hmm. 80 minutes and them region. You understand what I mean? I say, mm-hmm. To come close it out. So me feel like say even that I one of the things that if you not start the two see them, one of them I go come on to replace the next one at one point of the game. So I just feel like say to me, I one of the best squad for a while. Top of them did I pick the right people them. You understand what I mean? I say, and we have to look upon it again and know say one game. This is only one game, so we have to go with the team for win the one game. After this one, whoever for come in, I go come in and you understand what I say? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Because everybody a ball for whisper on him something. I don't feel like whisper for now, whisper now for never for in the squad. If I'm going to go get, get my game, if they marry Phillips, they go get my game, they just go for make up numbers. Because you have to pick a 23 man squad for go. So some of them are just pick how much people can play. Eleven start and how much sub. So some people just go for numbers. So if you are gonna bring whisper just for numbers. Mm. I but I just might keep that from the from the squad still. So um yeah, just that made that try for you. Alright, big up the boots. So coach, I want to give a, a slightly different perspective on Maria. Mm-hmm. No, Maria is a short centre back as centre-back standard score, right? What he had was an incredible mm-hmm. jump on reach. His, his vertical leap was huge. I think that as he has aged now, the legs don't respond with the same explosiveness off the ground to take him as high. That That is that is my reading. Um, but when he, came, sorry, when he came and I was playing for Reading on the other side of is it, it, this incredible vertical lead by this five foot ten centre back? Mm-hmm. You know, so 
I don't think he would start. I, I, I think Damian and and and, and Pinnock have Ethan. to have to Pinnock, yeah, Rupert. You know, have to get a understanding and understanding together. And but they have played I, before. Yeah, man. I think the coach wants to build that understanding and chemistry between mm-hmm, them. Mm-hmm. More popping and changing his centre back period. Too tough. If you if you look at Gareth Southgate, it's the same thing. He sticks with John Stones and Harry Maguire despite the mistakes. You know, he will make a change during the game, but he really stick into his starting players because you, you, you want them to develop that uncanny um, chemistry with an understanding. That, that's how I see it. Mm-hmm. But on a, on, a, on a slightly different matter, we, we really stretch out the regular boys thing. I watched the England game and I must say that I, I was praying, praying to God to Jack Allah. Hold on, hold on, Qatar. What you mean we stretch out the regular boys thing? No, no, no. no. The coach is not much to say about That's the, an interesting comment. No, it's not much to say about the starting eleven because basically everybody's agreed on apart from maybe one maximum one or two players. It's not like we it's not like we're having a massive disagreement on, on who we think the starting eleven would be. No, so not I because we have this we don't have any disagreement, we can't sit in there. We have to just divert, go talk about England and when you give Ivan Tony in a game. Oh no Ivan Tony I want to talk about we don't want to talk about Ivan Tony. You better thank Lucha. Oh, hmm? If Lucha never they get the red card, I would I get in, in cap. Caller, welcome to the show. You're alive. Oh, no. Lucha, red card. Yeah, how you doing, man? Yeah, man, not bad. How are you? Evening. Well, I'm alright. I'm just a call to give my opinion on the starting 11. Go ahead, go ahead. Alright. Me personally, this is going to sound unpopular, but I don't have a rabbit, I don't have a rabbit in the starting 11 cards. We have Daniel Jansen, we have played week in, week out in the championship, right? We, we can't carry him and don't play him. In, um, I'm comparing to Ravel Morrison where, where, where Rooney tell him don't come back. There must be a reason why Rooney tell him don't come back. And if he made a play that good, team club, then probably would have put up with him in discipline. So there must be a reason why so we, why would I why would I start an unattached man over a man where I play week in, week out in the championship. So me wanna start him. So what would I do is this, right? Would I start Lawrence a left back, would I start Pinnock and Low and then would I start Brown a right back. Then in the middle now I want to go with Lambert. Why? The coach can come and uh, pick him for the Argentina game, but he never start him. He never play in the Argentina game. Mm-hmm. So if the Argentina are friendly and the coach not play him, why the coach would want to play him in an in important game today? So what would I do now? I would I go with Russell, um, Johnson, and would I play Bobby Reed as a number 10? That is what I would I do. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the would have play um Bailey on the right and um Bobby Reed on the left. No me no Bailey on the right and um mm-hmm. l- the other the other low on the left and then Shamar up front. Okay. Yeah, but me not think Ravel as much as we have sentimental attachment to Ravel and, and Maria Ban. Mm-hmm. No no th- Because the two of them look whole and slow in the last two games. So, that's that's my two cents, okay? All right, caller. Big up yourself. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, respect. I got a question, Coach. Has um, Johnson ever played as an attacking mid for Jamaica? I think so, you know. Yes, I, think, yes, yes. I think the first yeah. game that he played in, right? Yeah, yeah man. When he scored on his debut. Mm. Johnson? But he, yeah man, he's an attacking midfielder. You know. That's his that's his that's his original position as attack midfielder. But but for us though, I've seen him as a defensive midfielder. 
know, when he starts the Saudi Arabia, when he starts the Saudi Arabia match, right, Coach? Yeah, yeah. Because, I don't know, I've, I've seen him as a defensive midfielder. I've, I've never seen him as an attacking midfielder for uh, Jamaica. Never. And, and he gave a very good performance as a defensive midfielder. Who, who was it against? I think it was against um, uh, Argentina. Yeah, Argentina. So, of course, you know what? Um, the other thing, Ketara, you see, the thing is now everything that we see, even the caller before a while ago, we mentioned Ravel. And well, hold on, there's a caller. Caller, welcome to the show. And before we go any further, yeah. Ika, to begin issuing new e passport next week. So, you know, say, ballers are coming. Don't need any physical passport, electronic passport. I gotta start right now. So that is that that sound like some good news. Go ahead, Carla. Yeah, good night, Coach. Yeah, man. Good yeah. Night. Yeah. This sound like Ian. Him say man. Okay. Oh, well, go on. Yeah, man. That's that's how I'm calling for giving me two cents and so you're talking about the e passport. Good. Long time, man. I don't want to pick up, brother. I don't want to pick up. I don't want to pick up. I don't want to pick up. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's, that's good, though. I'm going to do some checks on that. All right. So, so before you do your checks, Ian, yeah, let's just let me read out what, what is in store because we are saying it's so good enough, but hear what, hear what it, is, it entails. All right. Tell me. Pika, which is a passport immigration and citizenship agency, has announced it mm -hmm. will begin issuing new high security electronic or e passports to the public as of March 31. Mm -hmm. An e passport mm -hmm. is an electronic machine readable passport with an embedded microchip chip that stores a digital mm -hmm. version of the holder's biographical data. The chip has mm -hmm. a unique digital signature specific to each issuing country. Pika said the e-passport mm -hmm. is a robust a biometric document with added layers mm -hmm. of security that can aid in the fight against new and emerging threats to identity theft and national security. Okay, all right. So you can, you can stop there. Yeah, right, man, so stop there, someone. Yeah, so essentially, this is something that was in the making for, for a while. Mm -hmm. in, in, in reading out, I remember the old, the old kinds of an idea. It's not a, it's a security mechanism. So there will be, be no changes to the requirements. You remain the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so nothing will, will, will change in terms of um, requirements. Yeah? That's what you can say. Yeah, man, we know, we know that. Only that is the passport. Yeah. Possibly more, more, um, more secure. More, more yeah, secure. So, so, yeah, so, so, to my point now, what, why I, I, I actually called in, um, I'm looking at our squad, and um, essentially, um, Jamal Dewitt, I think he's a pretty decent goalkeeper. I've been watching him, and he's a good goalkeeper. I think he's better than you, sir, in my opinion. Yeah? And um, he and probably Connor by his club could be competing for that spot when Andrew Blake decides to pick up his gloves. Um, for now, Mr. Mr. Low, I expect him to, to start alongside Pinock at centre back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, at left back, Amari Bell. Right back, my my by surprise will be Dexter Dexter Lampakiza. Why that Dexter? I think he's better defensively than Javier Brown. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's, he's more mobile as well. So I I will go with, with, with Dexter at at right back, and um, the, the door people because it, it's a four to three one formation. Um, I'm going with um Russell and Lambert. Mm -hmm. Russell, 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 and Russell and Lambert. Then, um, the ten is um, 
Johnson. Then on, on one side, you have Bobby Reed, Bill and next side, and an surprise, number nine, Jamal Lowe. Mm. Why Jamal Lowe over, over Bowser? Jamal Lowe has been playing consistently and has been scoring. Yeah? Bowser, Bowser is a very good player. He has not been, he's not, I don't think he's that much, much sharp. So, so, so that, that was a reason for my selection. What say you, panelists? So, you can't, you can't argue with that. You know, my, my, um, my input is that the formation will dictate who gets selected. That's my input. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But we have a and and the thing is that. The thing is that uh, put it, I think putting Russell, who is not really a destroyer, he's more he's more a a a, 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 a seal, yeah, mm-hmm. with um Lambert, two 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 big sickles together. I think I think it will it will send the Mexicans on the flank, yeah, and and give us the, the middle. And then you have uh, somebody, somebody like a, 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 a Johnson, who is who is a very good player, uh, uh, number ten position, yeah. Yeah, Bailey and um, Reed. Then you have a clinical um, Jamal Lowe. so you can hurt them, mm-hmm. yeah. And then they are gonna stay in the crosses. I have a Damian Lowe, I have a Ethan Pinnock to head them out all day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, um, so, Ethan always good with the crosses, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so I think we, I think we can beat them. It's not. It's not impossible. It's time for us to beat Mexico. And Mexico. I think it's time. The time has come to beat them. Beat them in, in, in the back backyard. Right, and and Mexico has not been all that intimidating. I mean. They they haven't looked like the Mexico of old where where people were in awe of them. So, you know, I believe this is the time. This is the time. Yeah, and there's something else. A, a, a game in the World Cup that comes to mind: Netherlands versus Argentina. What Netherlands did to Argentina, showing showing what height how to use height. In a football game, we can do the same to this sharp Mexican team. Yeah? Because or you, this this team is very tall. Very tall team. Very tall team. Mm-hmm. Carla, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um Sure. What do you make of the coach? Coach's style of play? Is it defensive? Is is it attacking? Is it balance? Is it you know what I mean? It, it, it's primary it's primary defensive but I think that he's a balanced coach coach and um he will adjust accordingly. Right. And from Mexico from Mexico I think he's going to he's going to use the strength of the team, which is the height of the team. Or teams very tall. <clears throat> yeah, I, yeah? I, I, only a pity that only a pity both are strong in the year. Yeah, well, height. We'll see. But Travis, I'm, Travis, so what kind of subliminal are true upon him, him on them? Everybody, I give them prediction. You say you say me if you put up your team, I'm tell us I'm gonna see your team. But I'm gonna make them prediction for what them think, and you ask them up. Them up. Them are YouTube um air license coach. Travis, if you be yourself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that means that we now have to have these streams and we can't stop chat <laughs> and I expect I'm looking for a goal in, 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 in each half I expect a goal I'm looking for a goal in each half I'm, I'm both goals will be similar use the, use the height to, 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 to beat them yeah, huh? you know, from, from uh, sorry Carla to to Touch on what you said about the coach. You know, he, he seems to be a yeah. tactical coach that makes adjustments at the proper time. You know, and and I'm an, I think coach made the comment earlier that um, that he was talking about on the airball. 
and he said that um that, that players were basically what scared or um timid and it was um resort to what you know um something negative you know and 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 it it takes a very what you call you know a, a very tactical coach to make that assessment of his players and 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 come out and forthrightly saying listen these guys got a little nervous and they went to to the ear ball which means that he sees a problem and he's willing to make adjustments to it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it so that they can come out of yeah. that um habit so you know, i don't know man but but i'm very happy and confident with this coach and and i believe that that we are we are we are going to win and people should not be surprised all right because mexico isn't the mexico that we knew back in the past you know and 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 we have the same crop of players you know you know we're getting the confidence there we have a tactical coach he knows what he wants he's not scared from what i see and i believe we're going to give them a, a hell of a fight or or we're going to give them a hell of a beating and pull it out one of them i i don't see it so yeah yeah because yeah i agree I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. The only thing we need, we need, and it's gonna come, it's gonna come. We need a striker that's very good in the ear. Yeah? Big t- a big tall striker that's good in the ear. And it's gonna come, it's gonna come. Something that you work on, yeah. and it's, gonna, it's gonna come. We're gonna get a, a striker that's um, strong in the ear. Something I can't mention the names, but um, it's, it's been worked on. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I just see great things. That is yeah. what I see. I see great things. Yeah, it's been, it's been worked on. And you know, of course, it's been worked on. So, yeah, no, go yep. on, go on. Go on. yeah, man, big up, big up, big up, um, Ian. You want to take care, people? All right, cool. Coach, um, another thing I noticed too, right, and um, with with the um, with our coach, the more he speaks, the more he's dropping the Jamaican lingo, Jamaican accent, and that is pleasing to hear. I'm like, yes. Jamaica is growing on it, you know. So the more he immerses himself in in into the culture, you know, it it um it bodes well for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I see it, but I see it. Time is yep. coming. Yeah, man, it's a good look. Yeah, definitely. All right, so this this is basically this is basically where we end the show, still, you know. This is basically where we put a lid on it. I think we have we have we have gotten a lot of squads, a lot of people um give their take on 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 their thoughts on what the coach will be doing. So, big up yourself, Travis. Travis, yes, they are nice. I <laughs> we know how that I go on, Travis. <laughs> you know, Mister, big up yourself, Travis. <laughs> you don't know you're going on, Travis. Wake up, your chat, man. <laughs> so. Yeah man, big up, big up. So, um, any final thoughts you want to share, um, Kyle? Um, again, big up the reggae boy supporters club, you know. Kyle and the whole massive. You don't know it, you know. Yes, big yes. up on yourself. Just uh, well, I just want to um break the good news right now. You know, we're planning to do a um coaching B license I- initiative. You know, uh, we're supposed to launch it on Money's Man Show. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't don't worry. Um, we won't take it to your own, right? But we but, but we'll start the management. We we'll start building program. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're going to get the diaspora involved. You know. Yeah. So basically, the plan is to um, support a B licensed coach. You know, my plan is to basically look for a B licensed um, applicant from out of the west. You know, because Kingston and St. Catherine is saturated with um, big clubs. So we're trying to build up the West. You know, hopefully a female, you know, to show that, um, you know, we are, um, you know, open-minded. But anyway, as for the game, I mean, you know, I expect a win. I really do. We have a good coach. We have a strong team. The players know each other. Like I said, you know, the formation will dictate who will start. That's how I see it, you know. He, this this coach is brave, he's tactical, and I believe we'll only go from strength to strength. And you know, I you know win, lose or draw, Jamaica first. Mm-hmm. Win, lose or draw, 
black gold and green. All right? Cataract, over to you, sir. Yeah, Cataract, yeah, your yeah, final yeah. thoughts. Well, well said, Kyle. I just take my final minutes. You, you've been asking about John Russell, so I, I try to dig up some scouting on him. Um, his strengths are he's very strong on true balls, and he's strong on aerial duels and passing. His weakness is concentration, which makes me feel dreaded because, again, I think Kyle had also said about us conceding goals in those dying minutes mm-hmm. of the games. That's not a good thing uh, against Mexico. His, his style of play is that he is an indirect set piece threat and he likes to play short passes. So, not a, not a really a long ball in general. No way in India about tackling or anything like that. Um, really, a, 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 one of these pass master kind of players. And let's see if he's as good as Jeremy and you, who I think really set the bar for people who the pass masters in the reggae boys. Jeremy and you was such a beauty to watch. Stroking those 20 yard, 10 yard, 40 yard passes. Right yeah, look at them cutting in card. You next coach. Wrap it up. Yeah, man. So, again, people, yeah, thanks. Oh, we just started here. Yeah. Go on. You just started here, mate? No, so, from, what did I hear you talk about John Russell, man? Right. So, I'm saying that um, he, he's a kind of a pass master kind of central midfielder. Mm-hmm. Uh, let us see if he can bring to us. The, the kind of play like Jermaine Hugh, who I said is the best that we have seen at it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not as optimistic as Kyle about the result. <laughs> Going into a game, we, I think we started behind the eight ball, missing Mikhail Antonio and Andre Blake out due to injury. But let us see if the replacements and other players can step to the fore. Good to see um, Ethan put up back in a reggae boy shirt, and I look forward to see. Um, him really becoming a more mature international player and, and, and really stepping up his game and his his stamp his authority and class on on the game. The, I, I I I'm honestly expecting a draw. That that that's my uh, that's my prediction. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I think if, if we can then make the odd goal we can scamper out of Mexico with a with a win. But it'll be very hard. I think the Mexicans are coming guns blazing. And yeah. I hope <laughs> tomorrow night if you're able to have a triple treat we you, you can give us someone to give us some assessment of the Mexican team and the, the kind of threat that they bring to the table. Mm. Big up yourself Raymond yeah, yeah, the, yeah. We'll see if we can, we can, we can find that thought. But again, people, thanks very much for tuning in. Big up to Katara, big up to Reggae Boys, um, supporters, club boss Kyle Wallace. Um, big up to Jeremy and was on. Thanks to the callers who called in, gave some very good insight on the show. Thanks to the commenters, as usual, in the comment section. Travis, big up yourself. Um, all of the people, them, fresh god, wicked man. R.R. Mario Russell, Badders, Nitro, you know, Dre anyway, that big up yourself, 95 gaming, Badders, everybody, Tennessee Lewis, big up on yourself, Julie, Mr. United, Vibing, yeah man, big up on yourself, man, that's Grammy Family Production, bless up, Anjo, everybody, and big deal then, if I fail to call a name, forgive me, ODNL, God bless you. Everybody just big up here, man. Until next time. We hope to be back here tomorrow to do it all over again. Discussion of football. We talk reggae boys. And sometimes Qatar goes ballistic. Until next time, people. And stay safe. He missed. He, people, he missed this card by the scuff of his neck. Until next time, stay oh, safe. Oh, time Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that.